All right, Darren, uh, decision today to, to ban body checking at the PB level, why is this an important decision to make? Well, I think the safety of our kids. I mean, that's why we're here. The, the kids that are playing our game and, and anything we can do to make that experience safer and better for them uh, is very important. And especially as we try and grow the game and, and bring new participants in and keep participants in it longer. And uh, it's just a huge move to, for, for all of those reasons. Talk a little bit about uh, Hockey Nova Scotia's experience uh, with body checking at the PB level and, and what your uh, board did at your AGM this year. Well, this year we had a committee that spent eight months reviewing the evidence on both the medical side and the development side. And when we presented this, we had a series of speakers, doctors at our AGM, as well as Paul Carson from Hockey Canada and Development. And when we presented that information to our members and they reviewed it, the motion was that we would delay it for one year so that the Atlantic partners could get on side and, and give our Pee Wee AA and our AAA teams one year to prepare for the removal. And when our membership reviewed that evidence, um, they came back and, and clearly mandated that we remove body checking effective next year and, and not wait a year to do that. What are the biggest challenges after this decision today? Well, the big things are we have to go back. It's not as simple as just removing body checking. We've got to go back and take the information we have, the resources we have, and start educating our coaches and our players and Adam and Pee Wee about body contact and the basics of body checking, which is body position, angling, stick checking, on ice awareness, all of those things, so that when we add the final piece of body checking at the Bantam level, our players will be better prepared. As well, two more years to just work on the basic skill development, we think our kids are going to benefit.